Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I have here today for you something special. That's a 97 Toyota Corolla DX. This one was here before because it was in front end collision light one and I was able to make decision with the owner to save it, right? This, I don't know, that's a new thing that it's missing one of the lights. Uh, this poor baby has 213,000 miles on the clock. It's extremely reliable and keeps driving despite the fact being all banged up, right? But recently overheated. So the owner or father of the owner saw that this top pipe blew up, right? So he replaced it. He did it for his son. We are hoping the radiator is not cracked from that overheating and today it came to find out why it is overheated and what will be the repair. The owner also said that when he was looking in the engine he found the chunks of the drive belt. Right? Do you see that? So I'm finding this all over. So obviously you go where you go, well, where the drive belts and water pump is, right? Now look at that, this belt is just put on the side, it actually wasn't. I put it on the side because it was still touching main pulley, so I remove it from it. Just for that very short drive from in front of my shop to the garage, right? So I see one belt, right? That's coming to the power steering but look it's not directly coming to the main crank so yes the power steering wasn't working in that very short move which I did also the alternator light was on well no wonder alternator is not being moved by any belt right so it couldn't be working I see when these belts broke it split it away this ground this is just ground wire so this I will be just clicking together and this is all what we can see from here so let's go lift this poor thing up and see what really happened I removed that belt which you just saw there and it's upper end that that cannot be reused right it has a multiple damages on it and let's go see the vehicle I put the lights on this passenger side and that will show you that this is unusual case of overheating and the havoc with the belts so normally normally if this happens it will be due to the failed water pump which is up there hard to film for you right so this is the bottom of the water pump and when that pulley, right when the bearing fails, the pulley, water pump pulley, might start wiggling and the belt can slip, right, and cause this havoc. But the water pump is not leaking at all, right? So normally I started creating already scenarios in my head driving here, right, when I was told the details. But no, this is unusual case. What happened here? Look at the... AC compressor. Uh -huh. We have a problem here. Let me zoom on the AC compressor and basically this tensioner bracket which is mounted to the engine. So you see that bolt? That is loose. The top one is completely out. So these two bolts are still remaining on that bracket but they are basically out they are not holding it the AC compressor is still mounted correctly to the bracket but on this side you will see these two bolts uh, this is the number one and the uh, number two up there are completely missing so we have I believe unusual case this problem the overheating right the water pump stopped working because it wasn't supply to turn by the belt which fell off right because the 
AC compressor basically was out of the place. Therefore the engine overheated, blew the top hose right on the radiator and caused all these problems. So I'm glad it's not on me because I never touched this area. I was actually fixing the frame and other stuff. I will basically have to remove the compressor from that bracket because the access to those four bolts are from behind the compressor. Put the new bolts, right? Then see if everything aligns correctly and those rubber belts, two of them are missing. If they didn't rip something more, for example, right, look over her there. It was already cutting, right, in that cover there. So I will have to carefully look on everything. But hopefully they are lucky. And all it will need, two bolts plus two belts. And this Corolla will be working perfectly again. So let's cross fingers for this owner that nothing is damaged really, right? I can install it back including two new belts plus some labor and this baby will be running perfectly in this afternoon. For you, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day my friend.